A mysterious hole keeps opening up in Antarctica, and from what scientists are explaining to us, it's going to uh, be back yet again. This is on Science Alert. What could be making this huge, huge hole in the middle of the glacier? This is by Carly Casella on Science Alert. In the early 1970s, when satellites first began giving us these wonderful images of Earth, scientists noticed a mysterious hole in one of Antarctica's seasonal ice packs. It was floating on the Lazarus Sea. And come summertime, a gap disappeared. And for decades, the strange event went unexplained. Then, about a year and a half ago, during the continent's coldest winter months, when the ice should be at its thickest, a giant, almost 3,700 square miles of, uh, of a hole suddenly shows up in the same ice pack. Two months later, it had grown a stunning 740% larger, before once again retreating with the summer ice. It takes decades, but scientists think they finally understand why it keeps happening. Using satellite observations and reanalysis data, researchers from New York University, Abu Dhabi, New York, UAD, have found that these ephemeral, ephemeral holes, known as polyneas, P-O-L-Y-N-Y-A-S, polyneas, appear to be scars from cyclonic storms. Hmm. In September of 2017, as warm air and cold air collided at the South Pole, the authors explained that the swirling wind, inward wind of the cyclone reaching 117 kilometers an hour, that's 72 miles an hour, and whipping up waves 16 meters in height, that's 52 feet high, pushed the Antarctic ice pack in all directions and away from the eye of the storm, like a drill to the seawater, if you can imagine. And uh, this drill caused a hole. Now, as dramatic as it appears in satellite imagery, the resulting polynia is not necessarily bad. In fact, these icy punctures can be downright important. As a door between the ocean and the sky, they offer crucial pathways for wildlife, including sea seals, penguins, and provide habitat for phytoplankton. These gaps are also powerful influencers of the atmosphere and a potential indicator of climate change. Uh, as lead author of the new research, NYUAD atmospheric scientist Diana Francis says, once this hole opens, the polynia works like a window through the sea ice transferring huge amounts of energy during winter between the ocean and the atmosphere. And because of their large size, mid-sea polynias are capable of impacting the climate regionally and globally as they modify the oceanic uh, circulation. So it is this point that is particularly important because while polynias are not necessarily disastrous from what we know, their presence can absolutely have an effect on our climate. So, th so something that the scientists are cautioned about uh, given the current state of global warming. So even if they don't stir up more climactic changes or feedback systems, an abundance of these holes could throw our climate models right out of whack. Given their large size in the middle of the ice pack, mid-sea polynias through intense deep convection are capable of impacting the climate locally, regionally, and potentially globally by modifying the oceanic circulation underneath. This includes impact on the regional atmospheric circulation, the global overturning circulation, Antarctic deep and bottom water properties, and oceanic carbon uptake. The range of factors that these holes could suddenly influence is astonishing and the risk of them occurring more often is high. Under warmer climates, previous research indicates that cyclone activity at Earth's poles will only intensify, and extra-tropical cyclones, that is, mid-latitude cyclones, will move closer and closer even to Antarctica.
Given the link between polynia and cyclones, we demonstrated in this study, Francis says, it speculated that polynia events may become more frequent under warmer climate because these areas will be more exposed to more intense cyclones. And when it comes to the climate crisis, another atmospheric variable is about the last thing we need. And this study has been published in the Journal of Geophysics Research in Atmospheres. Now, the 43-year-old mystery of the Polynaya in uh, Antarctica unraveled. That was it. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.